Hi guys, welcome back to Vision Eyes, where I describe abstract, modern and contemporary painting beyond sight using all of the senses. Today, I've got a really tricky one. As always, it wouldn't be my show without a tricky painting to describe. This one is by Mark Rothko. It's from 1950. It's called White Center, open brackets, yellow, pink and lavender on rose. He has a really clever way with titles because that's essentially what we're looking at here. The dimensions of this painting are, is approximately two meters tall by one and a half meters wide. And it's the shape of a mattress, a single mattress, but, but end up. So it's like a mattress on the wall. Um, and this painting, I'm gonna describe it in quite a funny, silly way, but it's, that's only to give you form and a, a vision of what this painting actually looks like. But I don't want to undercut how important this painting is because like all of Rothko's paintings, they are really powerful um, and um, immersive and um, calming and transportational and also important. They feel like altarpieces. They really feel um, as powerful as that. But I'm going to try and describe it in a funny way and that is to describe it as a marshmallow muffin burger. So let me try and explain what I'm, where I'm going here. Like a burger that you hold in your hand, you have a top section, which is the top of the, of the bun. Then you have a layer of lettuce and then you have the meat burger or the, the veggie burger, uh, burger central bit. Then you have like um, a relish and then you have the bottom part of the bun. So that is basically, very basically, what we're looking at here. But Remember, it is the size of a mattress and it's hanging on the wall. And these blocks of colours, the bun, the lettuce, they are all, all very blocky. I would, that's why I've called it a muffin burger. You know you get those muffins which are formed into almost like an, like an ice hockey puck. Okay? And it feels like that. It feels like on profile, you're looking at a rectangle but they have form. They're not just flat blocks of colour. So the top part of this burger, the, 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 the bun top, the muffin top, I would describe as, oh gosh, a really warm August evening sunlight. And it's like after you've had a really hard day and you're sat outside and my gosh, you can just feel it on your face. It is this this evening glow, this this smell of, I, I don't know, of of the of the warm, calmed down city, or or warm warmth coming off the fields, um, and it it really is this this absolutely immersive, wonderful feeling of of sunshine on your face. It's not flat; it's kind of lightly textured, so. It feels like maybe if you are sat in the sun, you all of a sudden feel uh, on your face, maybe um, dappled sunlight coming through. So maybe there are some trees or, or, um, or leaves in front of you. And it's just got this very gentle um, dappling kind of effect on your cheek. And that's how I would describe this block of, of pure sunshine. It just is slightly dappled. And it looks like he's really pushed the paint out, not forced it out. I mean, Rothko puts on the paint liberally, but in layers over time. And it feels like when you're putting um, a sheet on a bed and you're pushing it out to, to get rid of all of those, those creases on the sheet, but you never really managed to do, to do that. So you have this kind of almost flat, but not graphic flat. And, you know, so this, this muffin top, remember, think about... Um, uh, uh, um, marshmallows, uh, those cubic marshmallows, they're soft but they retain their form and the edge is is dusty like maybe a sprinkling of, of sugar or flour so it has this very fine um, grainy finish to uh, a marshmallow cube right and, and these blocks of colour in this painting 
have that edge, this kind of soft, grainy edge where these colours mingle together. Right underneath this sunshine bap is an, a fine um, shoelace of licorice. It's dark, it's rich, but it's relatively thin. And you know how shoelaces, when you lose the end of your shoelace, it, 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 it gets all fluffy and kind of and kind of broken at the edge. That is exactly what's happening here. You have this fine licorice um, line, really rich, and then the edges are slightly bigger and, and, and buffed up. Right underneath this licorice line, you have the burger, which in itself, I would describe as a hockey puck of, of marshmallow. Um, it's, it's kind of, it's fluffy to, to the taste, but it's all about the texture rather than the taste. There's not much taste to, to a marshmallow, but it has this kind of simple, um, uh, kind of um, uh, bland kind of, but, but it, it's, it's restful um, and it, it is perfectly counterbalanced by that licorice above it. You've got this dark licorice and then this kind of um, fluffy um, uh, amount of, of marshmallow. And then right underneath the marshmallow is a very ultra fine layer of, of lavender. So it's this beautiful, completely, it's almost aromatic. It's, it's a beautiful dusting of just dried lavender um, right underneath this marshmallow. So right now, going down this burger, we're actually only halfway because the majority of the painting or half the painting is now the bottom um, bath, the bottom part of the burger, which is actually like a solid form of candy floss. It's, it's sweet, it's sickly, it's, it's joyous, it's, it's, it's not for those people who are like, I can't possibly eat candy floss, I'm on a diet. It is about going to the fair and having fun. It, 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 it's, it's really that upbeat. But like I said, what's magical about Rothko's is that for some, somehow these blocks of emotion and colour, they sit on top of each other really sublimely. So you've got the weight of this marshmallow, the weight of this sunny day on top of this big block of um of of um candy floss um and it's not crushing it the candy floss block is is retaining its shape this is what's incredible and getting goosebumps just thinking about it um about about these these colors and these atmospheres and these forms they're really incredible now so that's the essential burger you got sunshine on top of licorice on top of a, an ice hockey puck of of uh, of a marshmallow on top of a big bath of candy floss. That's not the end of the story, folks. Around the top of the um, sunshine block, you've got um, a generous helping of strawberry jam, and it goes across the top of this. Um, uh, the burger and then it comes down the sides and he's put it on generously like you would put it on your toast um strawberry jam really unctuous really rich and my god it has such a and i was gonna swear then i'm not gonna swear an amazing reaction to the sunny day it's just like oh my god where are the wasps it's it's really is a hot sunny day and with this strawberry jam now on but at the bottom, underneath and around the candy floss is not strawberry jam, it's, it's marmalade. It's a little bit more acid. Now, this is not a thick border, it's a fine border, but it is slapped on liberally. You know, it's like, I'm gonna shove on loads of jam, but not so much jam that I'm gonna feel diabetic tomorrow. So, it, you know, this marmalade um, surrounds this beautiful candy floss and and it works. I mean, I can't describe it. Um, oh, oh, well, I've just tried to describe it anyway, as in common language as, as I possibly can. I will do more Rothko's in the future because I found this one really, really challenging because I feel like I'm undermining the importance of this painting by describing it as a, a marshmallow muffin burger. But that's what it is. And it's big. It's on a wall and it looks really, really powerful. So that is the end of the description of this painting. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, subscribe, 
comment and follow. Lots of love. Bye.